Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Champion Live here at the temporary home of Champion Martial Arts. I am Master Ronald Galang, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far. Today's Wednesday, April 1st, uh, so happy April Fool's Day. Uh, we're going to get right to it with our normal beginner class, and I hope you guys enjoy, all right? So what I need you guys to do, I need you guys to spread feet apart. We're going to get warmed up. Again, if this is your first time training with us, uh, welcome. You guys don't have to keep up with us. You know, just try your best. Just get up off the couch and get moving, okay? So <clears throat> what I need you guys to do, spread feet apart, arms up just like this, and then closing our, and then all we're going to do is just warm up our upper body and... We're going to move our hands, move our fingers, and go. Keep going. Keep opening and closing those hands. Keep opening and closing those hands just like this. Just making our fingers talk, just like a Muppet, kind of. All right? So let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. And freeze. Okay, great job. Now what I need you guys to do is I need you guys to move your hands back and forth just like this, okay? Kind of like you're flinging something at somebody really, really fast, all right? So the reason that we're doing this is we're getting our hands warmed up and we're getting our wrists warmed up, all right? So keep that going. Keep that going. We got a couple of more seconds of this. All right, keep that up, keep that up, and great job. All right, now what we got to do, we got to shake off that water, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to Keep like we just washed our hands for the 1800th time today and we're going to shake those hands out like we used too much water and we missed some before we wanted to use the towel. All right. So let's keep keep these hands moving. Keep these hands moving. I know if you're if you're tired of washing your hands, I completely understand. But you know what? Unfortunately, we have to keep keep doing. It. OK, so keep shaking those arms out, shaking those hands out. All right. Great job. OK, what I need you guys to do, if you have a low ceiling, just like I do, I want you guys to bend your knees all right we're gonna warm up our shoulders and our arms now and all I want you guys to do is like you're swimming forward or you're climbing or you're digging forward okay keep moving those arms keep moving those arms just like this nice job keep reaching around now try not to go off to the side like this keep trying to move those arms straight down straight up there you go keep it up you guys you guys are doing great keep it up nice job and Let's relax. Okay, so what I want you guys to do next, we're going to go backwards. We wound up. Now we got to unwind. All right. So we're going to wind. Or we, we already wound up. Now we're going to unwind backwards. So bringing those arms backwards as straight up and as straight back as you can. Moving those shoulders, usually using those shoulders. All right. Keep it up, you guys. Keep it up. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it up. And a couple more of these. And great job now what i want you guys to do for our next warm-up is give yourself a big hug that's it so what i want you guys to do you're going to give yourself a big hug and then reach behind you you're going to give yourself a big hug and reach behind you. big hug reach behind you just like this big hug and then try to reach as far back behind you as you can all right by the way if you hear any little pops and cracks in your body or in mine <laughs> it can be normal. Let's not overdo it though, okay? So again, please be careful, all right? If you have to take a break, please make sure to take a break, all right? Keep it up. Keep it up. And great job, you guys. All right. Now that we warmed up our, our upper body and the arms and hands, what we're going to do is we're just going to warm up our hips or warm up our core and our hips, okay? So let's go with that and elbows up just like this. All I need you guys to do is turn. You can add a little extra pump at the end just to kind of get that little extra turn, all right? But you don't have to, okay? So don't also, don't twist yourself up into a pretzel, all right? Let's do a couple of these, all right? <clears throat> the most important thing you guys can do during these weird times is one, be great to the people that you you have contact with and two, stay active, all right? I know there was a few days over the weekend where I uh, wasn't moving around very much um, and I just felt kind of down, just kind of, you know, blase. So I want you guys to remember that staying active, staying moving, get to, it gets those endorphins going, all right? And it helps you, you know, it helps your mood, you know, ease up a little bit, all right? So, you know, if you're feeling a little down, just get up off the couch and keep moving, okay? Uh, it'll help. It won't fix everything, 
uh, that you might be feeling, but it'll definitely help, all right? So now that we did a couple of those, what I want you guys to do is we're gonna put our hands on our hips and we're gonna move our hips back and forth. Again, if you hear my body crack, that's normal. If you guys hear your own body crack, we're just gonna have to keep moving as much as we can. Okay, so moving our hips back and forth, trying to keep our shoulders, you know, not from like going like all the way over here or all the way over there, just moving our hips, all right? Just moving our hips, okay? All right, keep it up a few more times. And great job. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hula hoop, all right? I'm a terrible hula hooper in real life, but I can do the stretch I'm like you wouldn't believe. So <laughs> hands on our hip. And then what I want you guys to do is we're gonna keep just circling our hips around, making a big circle only with our hips, not with our upper body, but only with our hips, all right? Keep that up. We're gonna go with a few seconds of this, keeping it up. Great job and relax. All right, so now we got, now that we warmed up our upper body, I want you guys to warm up your lower body. So what we're gonna do, really simple, just march, okay? And if you wanna keep the arms moving, totally fine. Just keep marching. Now do me a favor, when you guys do this, I want you guys to try not to let your heels hit the ground first, all right? So I want your, I want the ball of your foot right here to hit the ground first and then try to stay off your heels as much as you can, okay? So if you wanna keep your arms moving, you can do that, all right? And then what I want you guys to do is raise them up a little bit more, a little bit more. Great job, keep it up. You guys are doing great. Remember, if you have to take a break at all, Please feel free to, you don't have to keep up. Uh, you can take this at your own pace, okay? So please make sure to take this at your own pace. All right, keep it up. Now higher, all the way up to your chest. All the way up to your chest. There you go, keep it up, you guys, keep it up. Go all the way up to your chest. All right, keep it going, keep it going. Nice job, and relax. Great job, you guys. All right, now what I need you guys to do, basically all we're gonna do is just kind of lift our legs, just like this, all right? What I mean by that is you're just kind of, just kind of flicking, flicking your legs out there. All right. If you want to keep moving your arms, totally fine. Again, if you want uh, this to be a little bit more of a difficult workout, you guys can add weights, whether it's uh, dumbbells, whether it's uh, leg weights, or you know, wrap around arm weights, or anything like that. Please feel free to. All right. Keep it going. Keep it going a little higher. Now we're not actually throwing a front kick just yet. I just want you guys to get your legs moving and warm up. Activate those muscles. All right, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Great job, you guys. Well done. Relax for just a second. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three things. If this is your first time with us, we do basically three parts of class. We do blocking, we do upper body attacks, and then we do lower body attacks, all right? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our blocks. For Again, for you beginners out there, we do five blocks, all right? We do low, high, mid, inside and an open hand block which is called outside pseudo all right then after we do that we go into our upper body attacks which we do some punches some hook punches some uppercuts and some chops okay then we go into our kicks we usually try to get uh four to five kicks in there which can include knees front kicks round kicks uh crescents uh and an axe all right so before we get into our blocks, what I want you guys to do, we're gonna start with uh, some push-ups, okay? Getting some calisthenics out there. All right, so let's get down. Again, when you guys do this, hold on, I'll stand up. When you guys do this, I want you to try to keep your body straight, okay? Don't stick your butt out when you're doing your push-ups, okay? Put your hands directly in line with your shoulders, all right? If your hands are closed, like I'm gonna have them, make sure still facing each other, hands directly under your shoulders, all right? So let's do some push-ups, ready? 10 on your own at your own pace. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now we're gonna do sit-ups. All right. Knees up, feet on the ground, arms up, ready, and all on your own pace. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now try to stand up without using your hands if you can, and then. I want you guys to do feet apart. Now, when you guys bend at the knee, I also want you to basically rest your hips back. So when you guys do this on squats, just using your hips to move back 
and lead the bend, okay? And arms up, and 10 on your own. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, great job, you guys. Okay, now we're gonna get into our blocks, all right? One of the things I want you guys to remember, if you guys are a beginner, make sure proper fist, fingers closed, thumb around, and then lock the wrist, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our chin beast stance, which is feet apart, okay? Shoulder width, if you drew a line from your shoulders to your feet, that's how far apart your feet would be, okay? So, shoulder width, hands underneath in that proper fist. When I say chin B, yeah, ready? And chin B, yeah, good job. All right, now we're gonna make our first stance, which is chemo stance, okay? So what we're gonna do, and again, you can do this, I'm not gonna move very much from this spot right here. You guys can do this in an enclosed area. Uh, normally we have a lot more stances, but for all intents and purposes, this is the best stance we can go with. So, knees bent, both feet facing forward, hands on our hip, just like this. So, if you can see my hand, okay, my the inside of my hand is turned up, not to the side, and not like this, all right? Ready, and hands on our hip. Our first block is called low block. Very simple, I'm gonna explain it kinda quickly, but don't worry about getting it perfectly down. Totally fine if you don't get it down completely perfect, okay? So the hand that's throwing the block is gonna be up, other hand across, and then we pull, okay? So it's basically bringing the block down. Then hand that's th the other hand that's throwing the block, the other hand goes across, bringing it down. So hand that's blocking comes up, hand that's not blocking goes across and down. One more time, hand that's blocking goes up, hand that's not blocking goes across and down. Great job. So let's move it a little bit faster, okay? You don't have to keep up with me. Just do it at your own pace. Just try to get the motion down. Ready? And, hana. Low block, great job. Another one, duh. Low block. Another one, set. Nice. Knit. Hana. Duh. Set. Knit. Great job, you guys. Well done. All right, so now we're gonna go into our second block, which is called high block. Little less moving parts. Okay, so when you guys do this, bring it up, bring it up, over your head, over your head and in front of your face, not resting on your head, okay? Let's, not, let's try not to do that, all right? So when you guys do this, over your head, ready? On the command, let's do some high blocks. And hana, do, set, net, hana, do, set, net. Great job, you guys, well done. All right, so that was our second block. So the first block, low, Second block high, third one mid. All right, let's get this done. So knees bent, hands on our hip, around and in front, okay? Like you're bringing something from your hip and showing it to somebody, okay? Which is your fist, <laughs> All right, so hands on our hip, knees bent, around and in front, ready? On the command, mid block. Hana, do, set, knit, hana, do, set, Knit, hana, do. Great job, you guys. Well done. All right. So we did low, mid, or low, high, and mid. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside, inside block. Like you're banging a drum. So when you guys do this, bring some, bring that mallet that you're gonna bang the drum with, out in front of you. Okay. Bring it from behind and out in front of you. All right. And knees bent, hands at our side. Inside block on the command. Ready? And hana, do. Set, net, hana, du. Set, net, hana, du. Great job, you guys, well done. All right, so our last block that we're gonna do is called outside pseudo block. If you've ever seen the movie Karate Kid, it's basically this move right here, knife hand block, uh, where you know he was waxing the car, okay? So knees bent, hand, hands at our side, and around and up, okay? Ready, on the command, outside pseudo block. And hana, do, set, net, hana, do, set, net, hana, do. Great job, you guys. Well done. All right. Before we get into our upper body attacks, what I want you guys to do, we are going to go straight into another set of 10 push ups, 10 sit ups, 10 squats, okay? Again, do them at your own pace. 
whatever you can do. If you can only get five, great. If you can get 10, great. If you can, if you want to do more, totally fine. All right, so let's get down and push up position and on your own pace, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Great job, you guys. All right, on our backs and ready on go and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten nice job try to use try not to use your hands when you stand up okay all right so last thing we're gonna do squats another set of ten and arms up remember shift your hips back okay try not to let your knees go past your toes all right so ready, squats and 10 of them, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Great job, you guys, all right. So we're gonna go into our upper body attacks. First thing that we're gonna lead with is our low punches. Now, with low punch, I want you to pick a line. If you had an imaginary line directly in the front of your center, the very center of your body, that's where you would aim, okay? So low punch, comes straight from your hip, out in front of your stomach, in the, in the center line, okay? Ready, low punch. So straight from your hip, and on the command, hana, do, set, knit, hana, do, set, knit, hana, do. Great job, you guys, all right. Now we're gonna go into high punch, all right? So. When you guys do high punch, directly right underneath your nose, okay, right at, right at the philtrum, all right? So what I want you guys to do, straight from your hip, don't bring it up here and out like this, or like across your body, and then just bring it straight from your hip. All right, ready, knees bent, hands at our side, high punch, and hana, do, set, knit, hana, do, set, knit, hana, do. All right, great job, you guys. Well done. So what I want you guys to do, now we're going to do uppercuts. Okay, there's a few different types of uppercuts. All right, so don't do the one that's up here like this to the face or taller. All right, and don't do like Street Fighter, Tiger, Tiger Punch. All right, like jumping. Don't do that. All I need is just reaching out, right, aiming like right here, under like right under the ribs, floating rib area. Okay, this is the one, this is like uh, one out of two, or one out of three punches and attacks that I don't want you to aim directly for the center. I want you to aim for the side, all right? So knees bent, hands at our side, uppercuts right from your hip, really easy. Ready, and hana, do, set, knit, hana, do, set, knit, hana, do. Great job, you guys, well done. All right, so next one is hook punches, okay? So what I want you guys to do, we're gonna bend our knees, and actually here, instead of having our hands on our hip, we're gonna have our hands up here. We're gonna bring it across, aiming for the side of the center line, okay? Off to the side, all right? So hook punches, a lot of people, the way that they do them, they bring it around like this, like a haymaker, okay? Like a wild, crazy punch. What I want you guys to do is just shorten it up a little bit and then aim for the side, okay? Ready, on the command, and hana, do, set, net, hana, do, set, Net, hana, do. All right, great job, you guys. So the next one that we're gonna do is called inside chop. So earlier in the blocks, we did inside block just like this. This time what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it. All right, open our hand, all right? And make sure that our fingers are tight. Inside chop to the neck, making sure that our uh, we're aiming basically like we're trying to chop down a tree, okay? So what I want you guys to do, bend your knees, hands at our side, inside chop, right? towards the side of the center line, okay? Ready, and on the command, hana, do, sit, knit, hana, do, sit, knit, hana, do. Great job, you guys, well done. Now we're gonna combine. We are gonna do some blocks, and we are gonna combine them with some of our upper body attacks. So what I want you guys to do, again, please remember that you do not have to do it completely correct. You don't have to keep up with me. Uh, I just want you guys to try to learn some ba very basic movements and get them down to the best of your ability, okay? All right, so what I want you guys to do, we're gonna combine two things, two things. 
we're gonna do low, low, two low blocks, two high punches. All right, let's see how this goes. So I'll walk you guys through a few of them, and then we'll just do them a tiny bit faster. Okay, so knees bent, hands at our side, and we're gonna walk through it together on the command. Ready? Hana, low block, low block, high punch, high punch. Good job. Let's do another one. Do, low block, low block, high punch, high punch. Great job. Let's do one more a little bit slower. Ready? Hana, low block, low block, high punch, high punch. Great job. Now you can speed it up a little bit if you'd like, or if you just want to keep it at that pace, totally fine. Let's do a few more a little bit faster. Ready? Hands on hip, knees bent, and on the command, Hana. Good job. Another one. Do. Another one. Set. Good job. One more. Hana. Great job, you guys. Okay. So next up, we are going to do high blocks and inside chops. Okay. So high block, high block, inside chop, inside chop. All right. So ready? Hands at our side, knees bent. And what I want you guys to do, we're going to bring over our head, over our head, side of the neck, side of the neck. Okay. Ready? And Hana. High block, high block, inside chop, inside chop. Great job. Ready again. Duh. High block, high block, inside chop, inside chop. One more time. Set. High block, high block, inside chop, inside chop. Great job, you guys. Okay. Let's move it a little bit faster. Ready? Knees bent, hands at our side, and hana. Great job. Another one. Duh. Another one. Set. One more. Hana. Awesome job, you guys. Well done. Now we're going to go into our kicks, okay? So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring, we're just going to keep it easy, keep it simple, okay? We're going to bring up our knee, all right? Most important thing is to bend the knee. Three steps to kicking, all right? Very basic stuff, very easy explanation. Take three steps, apply them. Nine times out of ten, you do it right. So bending the knee first, okay? Extending the leg or kicking and then bending it again. So bend the knee, kick, bend it again. That's it. I know that there's a lot of moving parts for you in, uh, intermediate slash advanced uh, students, um, but for beginner purposes, we are just really explaining it that way, okay? So first we're gonna do is we're just gonna lift that knee. All right, I want your arms up just like this, feet apart, shoulder width, all right? Arms up, and all I want you guys to do is bring up your knee. I'm gonna start with my left. You can start with whatever leg you want to, okay? so. On the command, I just want you to bring up your knee as about as high as your chest. All right, ready? And hana. That's it. Another one. Do. Good job. Bring it up to your chest if you can. Set. Net. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Great job, you guys. Okay. Now we're gonna go into our first kick. Is front kick. All right. So again, kicking directly in front of you, keeping your hips facing forward, shoulders facing forward as much as possible, and throw in front kick. Again, it is bending the knee, kick, and bending it again, all right? So if I'm showing it this way with the right leg, bending the knee, kick, bending it again, okay? So let's get going. Arms up, we're gonna use, I'm gonna use my left leg first, ready? And on the command, front kick. Hana. good job. Do. set, net. Hana, do, set, net, hana, do. Great job, you guys. Well done. All right, now our second kick that we are going to do is called round kick. All right, round kick is basically the bread and butter kick of Taekwondo. All I need you guys to do, I'm going to start with my left leg in front, facing the camera. You guys facing me, you can put whatever leg you'd like in front, okay? But just remember, you're using one leg the leg that's closest to uh, your screen, okay? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that leg up and throw that kick this way, or for, you know, depending on which way you're facing, all right? To the side of the center line, okay? Ready, on the command, bending the knee kick, bending it again, round kick, and hana. Good job, another one, do. Set, net, hana, do, set, Net. Great job. All right, switch it up, you guys. All right, ready? Now with the other leg. And same deal. Round kick. Ready? Hana. Do. Set. Net. Hana. Do. 
set, knit. Great job, you guys. Well done. All right. <clears throat> Next kick that we are going to do is called inside crescent. It's kind of a combination of two kicks. We're doing inside crescent, outside crescent. Okay. So you are using the bottom of your foot or the inside of instep of your foot or the outside of the foot. Okay. So again, watch very carefully. Okay. Inside using the bottom of your foot, outside using the top of your foot basically like a windshield wiper motion. All right. So let's go with inside out, inside crescent, outside crescent, arms up. I'm going to start with my left leg first. Ready? And hana. Good job. Other leg. Do other leg set. Great job. Hana. Do one more set. Great job, you guys. Well done. All right, now we're going to go into our axe kick. All right, axe, like you're using an axe to chop some wood down. All right, that's what we're doing with our foot. Okay, so what I want you guys to do, you can put one leg behind, one leg in front. This is like a walking stance. Okay, if I was taking a step forward and be walking. All right, so what I want you guys to do, put one leg in front, one leg behind. The leg that's behind is the one that's gonna you're going to kick with. Okay, all you're gonna do is bring it up, bring it down. All right, this is called X, straight down. Ready, and arms up. I'm gonna start with my left leg first. Ready, and hana. Other leg, do. Set, net, hana. Do. Set, net. Great job, you guys, well done. Now, before we do our combination of upper body attacks, and lower body attacks, what I want you guys to do is one more set of push-ups, sit-ups, and squats, okay? So, down for push-ups, and we're gonna bend our arms at your own pace. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, you guys. All right, let's go on our backs for one more set of sit-ups. You guys are almost there. All right, ready, and Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Let's stand it up. All right. Last set. Ready? Bending at the knees, using our hips to shuffle, like go back this way. All right. Making sure that our knees do not go past our toes. All right. Arms up. Last set of 10, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, you guys. All right, so last combination, last set of combinations. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do punches and kicks, okay? So this is how this is gonna work. We're gonna do two punches two front kicks. Doesn't matter if it's low or high. So punch, punch, front, front. All right, let's give it a shot. Again, you don't have to keep up. All right, I don't even know if I can keep up. Okay, <laughs> so ready, arms up and hana. Punch, punch, front kick, front kick. Great job, another one, Do Punch, punch, front kick, front kick. Another one, set, punch, punch, front kick, front kick. One more time. Ha. Punch, punch, front kick, front kick. Great job, you guys. So now we're going to go into, we just hit punch, punch, front kick, front kick. Now we're going to go into is two punches, two round kicks, but we're only going to use one side at a time. So what I want you guys to do, so we're going to, I'm going to start with my left side. Okay. So I'm only going to use my left arm, my left leg. So punch, punch, round, round. All right, let's give it a shot. Ready? On the command, and hana, punch, round, round, do punch, punch, round, round, great job, set, punch, punch, round, round, one more with this side, do punch, punch, round, round, great job, all right, let's switch it up, ready, and again, punch, punch, round, round, ready, last thing we're doing, and hana, punch, punch, round, round, another one, do punch, punch, round, Round, 
One, another one. Set. Punch. Punch. Round. Round. One more time. Hana. Punch. Punch. Round. Round. Great job, you guys. Well done. Okay, so that's it for today. We updated our schedule. So if you guys um, look at our Facebook page cover photo, you'll see the updated times. We're gonna do beginner classes every day, starting at 11 o'clock uh, every every single morning. So you guys have something to do. Um, and then we're not gonna have a afternoon beginner class. All right, so it's just gonna be in the mornings. And then we are gonna have our uh, mixed class for our champion students at one o'clock, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's for everybody. And then black belts will be Tuesday and Thursday at one o'clock. Okay, and that'll be on our group pages, all right? So again, we love you guys, we appreciate you guys. Um, thank you for continuing to watch. We'll keep putting these out here and I hope you guys are getting some kind of knowledge, staying safe, staying active, and staying at home, most important, all right? So thank you very much. We love you guys and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.